Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be using mostly this large uh, bamboo short handled um, hockey brush to make up a sort of sunset scene for the sky series that I'm doing on Patreon at the moment. Follow the link if you're interested in Patreon. There's lots of videos over there. Um, I'm wetting the sky all over um, with a brush. Um, I'll list my materials in the description below. I'm now putting a fairly rich mixture of yellow ochre right across the middle so I'm hoping to get it ref in the sky but also reflected in the, the sea area as well. This is cobalt blue very thick and some light red very thick too as you can see um, almost tube consistency. Now that's going to go straight across the top both colours on the brush at the same time, not mixed. This is um, the wet in wet technique and I'm going to try and get the paint to really flow. Um, I want it to move around a lot, I want this sunset to look quite organic so I'm going to add quite a bit of water now to it just as I say to help the paint to flow. A bit of dry brushing across the sea area. You can see it's starting to run down now. The colours are mingling quite beautifully. These three colours work very well together. Light red, cobalt blue and yellow ochre. I've turned the board round um, just to control the flow of the paint a bit more wet in wet. I want it to kind of have a slight direction to it so that as it softens, diffuses and dries it will end up looking like the most beautiful sunset. Hopefully. Then once it's diffused in to give you the look that you want then lay it flat so that it doesn't move, the paint doesn't move around anymore um, and it's, it's virtually dry and I think you can see we've got some beautiful rich soft effects for the sky and the sea. Controlling the flow of paint like this, wet in wet, um, can take quite a bit of practice but it's well worth learning the technique because you can get some lovely effects if you're brave enough. It's dry now, I'm going to try and do a bit more to the sea. I'm going to mix up on the large brush um, some quite rich cobalt blue and try sweeping it across the bottom because I think the bottom is a little bit too pale for me at the moment, well for my liking. And that might be a bit too blocky, a bit too blue. Let's try putting some of the light red into the mix. Sort of give us a purplish tone. Try that across it. Might be a bit, a bit rich. Let's just sort of thin that out a little bit with a dampish brush. I'm just going to keep sort of softening back, adding a bit more colour here and there, keeping the brush strokes more or less horizontal to try and get that the look of the sea that I like. I'm struggling a bit at the moment, I'm not very keen on how it's looking. But quite often you can get to this stage with a painting, especially with watercolour paint when you're painting with a time limit for the paint to dry. But just keep going and... Um, You'll either ruin it, which you will have learnt something from, or the painting will come good. Um, just adding little bits more of the of of the the same colours. And now I'm going to try with the corner of a card. Um, I think I'm going to etch out some sort of maybe rough wave shapes across the foreground through the very thick rich paint just to see what that that gives me because as I say I'm not too keen on how the sea's looking at the moment so I'm just going to experiment because there's nothing lost or, or nothing gained um, now it's just a matter of um, softening back maybe adding a bit more paint here and there keeping things fairly straight and horizontal and just trying to balance things out a little bit more. I think I've got the sea area too heavy. It should be light. 
like the sky but it isn't but never mind I'm still still going to see what if I could make something of it I think what I'll probably do is um, I'll see if I can lift out some waves um, with a flat brush no it's not working on on this paper it's not coming back to the white paper so I think I'll use some white gouache um, so first get some Payne's Grey mixed with the other colours and sweep that across the bottom to give me some dark colour. It looks drastic I know but I've got a plan. I want the paint to be nice and thick and dark there because I'm going to lift out again with the card, try and get some slightly better, um, more promising um, wave shapes etched with the card and then I'm going to enhance them with some white gouache once it's dry. I think that looks okay. Maybe they just need softening back a little bit with the large bamboo haki brush, um, just so they're not quite so obvious. Let's get some paint on there. Now that's starting to look a lot better. I think that's looking a lot more balanced. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite liking it again now. If we zoom in and look at these marks, I think just across here I'm going to put in um, some the white gouache with maybe a stippling brush, a stiff bristle brush, um, just to look like wave crests and sea spray. Just going to let it dry off now and I'm mixing some white gouache now with my stippling brush and it's straight from the tube it's really thick because I want it to go on quickly and to look nice and bright because these crashing waves will become almost a focal point I think the sky is actually the focal point in this one the sunset but then I want the crashing waves just to add to the effects. Trying to keep the mark sort of linear, horizontal, um, like a, a long rolling wave, but still keeping the marks looking fairly random at the same time. I don't want it to look too uniform. Um, this stippling brush is a large um, Matthew Palmer tree and um, tree and texture brush that was given to me by a friend. It's very useful for this sort of thing. Now I'm just going to load up the brush again and try and see if I can just sweep a bit of dry brush sparkle across the back just to lighten that up and to bring the whole sea together a bit more. I don't want it too thick, just, just a hint really of it across the back is why my brush strokes are quite fast. Now I think that's just about done. If you look closely you can see that the the white gouache look, looks quite effective against the rich thick paint that we have there. And just a tiny touch more I think just in the centre uh, where the crashing wave is largest. I'll take the tape off now and here it is here's the finished painting well I hope you like that and I was a bit concerned halfway through with the sea I thought that I was going to have to ditch this video which would be a shame because I really like the sky but as it is um, the white gouache came to the rescue and um, I've ended up with what I think is is quite a pleasing and reasonably simple um, sunset scene um, with some nice crashing waves. The soft diffusion from the wet in wet paint that's been allowed to flow as you tilt the board around has given us a beautiful effect. Um, I hope you'll try this. Um, it takes a bit of practice and if you like what you see why not come and join us on Patreon. Follow the link and have a look where we do lots and lots of this sort of thing 
and I publish um, exclusive videos at least once, sometimes twice a week, and you get early access to YouTube videos there too. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Take care and happy painting. Bye.